Joining us now is CFPB Director Rohit Chopra. It's great to have you in person. What a treat. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Great to see you. So, so if we are living with these very high inflation prices for several more months, even a year or more, what, what is your office doing and, and looking into how to protect consumers from getting gouged or getting tricked? Well, we're looking at everything. And one of the big places you see the inflation data is, of course, auto. Um, and the Russia-Ukraine situation isn't making that better. Auto lending is going to grow bigger, uh, above $1.4 trillion. Average balances are going to go up because cars are more expensive and people need those to get to work. We're thinking that this is going to put pressure on household balance sheets and income, but it's much broader than cars, too. We really see that it could affect credit card balances and overall financial health of families. It's one of the reasons why we're taking more attention when it comes to junk fees on all these banking products, whether it's NSF fees, overdraft fees, return check fees, we want to make sure this is not a time where people are getting nickel and dimed. But for the auto, you, you mentioned autos. Uh, people's loans are going to go up. Their, their payments are going to go up. So where are you looking for any potential wrongdoing there? Yeah, well, a big place is making sure we're looking at repossessions. So right now, so many people can resell their cars at above Kelly Blue Book value. Usually auto lenders don't really want to repossess. They want to work things out. But if they can repossess cheaply and flip it at a profit, that could be trouble. So we have issued some policies to sharpen our look at repossessions and make sure that no one's car, you know, is stolen from them. We mentioned the uh, credit card networks, uh, perhaps lifting merchant fees. Uh, there are so many layers of these payment processors and then, you know, the, the app that may feed into them. What is your role and, and to try and pull it all apart and make sure that those fees don't get out of hand or they're not abusive? Well, I don't really think we have a competitive payment system in this country. We're far behind, I think, many other countries. There are reports that Visa and MasterCard are going to hike fees at a time of inflation. That just seems like insult to injury to a lot of businesses out there. Uh, we don't have a competitive system, and many businesses cannot survive if they stop accepting Visa and MasterCard. So it's something that we're looking at carefully. And honestly, at a time of inflation, it just doesn't seem like the Do right time. Do you have the time. power to stop them from lifting fees? Well, uh, we have. there's lots of authorities that all of the regulators have. But I'll say this. If there is any, um, when prices rise in tandem, um, by dominant firms, that always raises red flags for regulators. If you say we don't have a competitive system, you would look for opportunities to introduce more competitors or somehow degrade their market power? Visa and well, some of it's already happening. Um, you do see new entrants trying to challenge um, the payment system, and many of them are getting more traction. And I think we're going to continue to see um, more people try and challenge that because we need in our country a fast real-time payment system that is frictionless and low cost. Related note, buy now, pay later. It's all the rage. Well, it has been on Wall Street before before we saw this latest downturn. A lot of excitement, a lot of adoption from consumers, especially younger consumers. What are the red flags there? Well, we have issued a set of orders to all of the buy now, pay later companies to really learn more about that business model. What we saw happening in the U.K. and in other jurisdictions, the U.S. is clearly following that. Big, big numbers we're seeing when it comes to the holiday shopping season. I do expect it to continue to grow. We're taking a look at the whole thing to see, are there any regulatory gaps? But ultimately, we do want more choices, more competition. So um, we're going to issue a set of reports to say uh, what we might do and where we can make sure it's safe for consumers and families. We've talked about the um, executive order on cryptocurrencies, this kind of approach to try and come up with a comprehensive plan to regulate these areas. Uh, from your perspective on the consumer protection side, what are the types of crypto businesses, the pitches that consumers get about these, not the structural systemic stuff yeah. about currencies, but the consumer financial products? Well, I would say what we're hearing the most now is really about hacks, theft, fraud, errors. You know, when you swipe a prepaid card or a debit card, you have some protections. And so we're trying to think about if it does really move into consumer use, how do we handle the fact that so many people are experiencing losses um, because of these hacks? So really security um, and thinking about fraud protections 
is a lot what we're talking about across the government. So it seems like you're more focused on listing protections and talking to companies and engaging to try to protect consumers, not as much on the fines. You know, right now, it's, it's still a nascent market, growing very big, obviously. I think what we're tracking is how is this actually going to scale? Right now, it's mostly for speculative trading purposes. But if it ever rides the rails of a big player, maybe like a big tech company, consumer use could really dramatically grow. And that's where we need to look closely at the consumer protection pieces of this. We have asked and ordered Apple, Google, Facebook, others to really give us more information about what their plans are, what their thinking was. We all saw Facebook's Libra, you know, experiment. And, um, you know, that obviously is not moving forward in its original form. But it was a warning that riding the rails of those big tech companies could mean very fast growth. And we have to be prepared.